So everybody, I thought I would give you some additional information that I can pass on from my tour during the 4th of July holiday here at Giga Texas. And although I can't go into a lot of specific details, there is some new information that I would like to pass along that you might find interesting. And some of these are frequent questions that I get from viewers. So hopefully this will help answer some of them. First, let's start on the roof. Now we know that there are a lot of solar panels that are already installed. They spell out Tesla, but there's only about 30,000 of the panels installed right now. Eventually, there will be over 70,000 panels installed once they finish some more of the roof work and reconfiguration work that is going on there. Now, a lot of viewers ask me, with the extension of the building, are they going to move those uh, solar panels to make them centered on the new length of the building? And the official answer is no, they are not going to move it. It doesn't make any sense economically. It's doing what they want to do here as it is, but it's possible that they might do some additional solar panels on that south end, maybe making some sort of pattern to fill in that area. Of course, that will also increase the number of solar panels that are on the entire roof as well. Keeping with the theme of most commonly asked questions, another one that I get often is why do the solar panels on the roof here at Giga Texas face to the west? Isn't that wrong? Shouldn't they be facing to the south? That's a very good question. I happen to have answered this previously way back on my 30 January 2022 video. And I would have you uh, take a look at that video uh, for more information, but I will take an excerpt out of that and show you it here. It's kind of a little bit uh, going back in the history. You're going to see some older views of Giga Texas, and I was talking about what the panels would look like, but I also gave you a lot of great information about why they are facing the way they are. So let's take a listen. So I thought I would address the solar panel installation on the roof since this has generated quite a few comments and uh, discussions on my videos. These are being installed in a west facing manner using 10 degrees of tilt and most people are saying this is wrong they need to be facing to the south for maximum energy generation. So what is going on? So to help answer this question I've looked at a number of resources. One such is at the bottom of the screen here and in the video description if you would like more information. This specific one has a uh, study that was done at Austin, Texas. So the answer is not always the same as where you put solar panels and it's based on location and design considerations. Three considerations for optimal placement is positioning of the panels on the roof, what you are capable of doing based on the design of the roof, the inclination of the panels, and the orientation towards the sun. It's also affected by desired aesthetics and that is a big factor here at Giga Texas as well. So here are a few key findings from the study. Conventional understanding is facing south when you're in a northern latitude is the best possible to receive the most sunlight. However, the studies have shown that west-facing rooftop solar panels can produce up to 49% more during peak demand periods of time. And again, this study was conducted in Austin, Texas. And this image here gives you just an idea of how that direction and angle of inclination can work. Some other findings from the Pecan Street Research Institute study is that the most optimum direction in northern latitudes is somewhere between south and west, and it can vary. The fixed panel inclination is a compromise between summer and winter sun positions, and fixed panel inclination is what you see at Giga Texas. And other factors such as roof design, orientation materials, and uh, practicality of installation plays a key role as well. So speaking of aesthetics, Tesla has made the decision to orient the panels to the west. Elon has said he would like to have the word Tesla spelled out on the roof. And this is oriented such that airplanes approaching and landing at the international airport would be able to see the word Tesla. And also this is facing downtown Austin. In this image here, we see what may be the beginnings of the T in Tesla. And I'll continue to monitor this as we go forward. I think what they're doing is they're using the solar panels and the gaps with the solar panels to make out the T-E-S-L-A letters. So I'll continue to monitor and I'm curious what you think about this.
So I hope this look back in time and some of the information that I covered about a year and a half ago was helpful. Also gives you some historical views of what Giga Texas looked like at that time. Another common question that I get is, do the solar panels connect to the mega pack? And how do they work here at Giga Texas? Well, the answer is, is that no, they do not connect directly to the Megapack system. The Megapack system is connected to the grid and serves two main purposes. One is to provide backup power for Giga Texas in the event that power is down. The second purpose is to help stabilize the grid in the greater Austin area. Now, as far as the solar panels themselves, what do they do? Well, they help offset the power use needs while the sun is shining and so most of the time during the day it greatly reduces but not completely eliminates the amount of energy requests and requirements that they have. Certainly it's not anywhere close to being able to provide the power for the new supercomputer cluster that's being installed in the south end. So I hope that uh, this helps answer a few questions about the solar roof and the panels, what they do, and uh, oh, and they are operational on the roof, so they are helping offset that uh, power need right now. So anyway, if you have any other questions, I'll try to answer them in a few more upcoming clips.